Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bappi Hamed and I'm your host. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning one amazing uh, uh, framework called Detectron True. So as of now, we have uh, seen lots of object detection uh, tasks with the help of YOLO, but uh, I'm going to introduce this uh, particular actually framework called Detectron True. So this is the uh, research from Facebook side. Okay, so they have implemented this particular uh, framework called Detectron True. With the help of Detectron 2, actually you can perform uh, object detection, image segmentation, as well as key point detection. So here you can use different different object detection uh, backbone. You can go with uh, Foster RCNN. Uh, even there are uh, so many actually uh, backbone is there. I'll tell you whenever I will uh, show you the model view. So in this video, what I'm going to show you guys, I'll uh, I'll use my custom data. On top of that, actually I'll be fine tuning one Foster RCNN model. Okay, Foster RCNN network with the help of this Detectron 2. Uh, so it would be one amazing video altogether if you don't know Detectron 2 and if you are having issue with the setup and all everything uh, I will show you like how to do it and all okay I already prepared one uh, notebook for you so let's see like how we can do it but before that first of all let's visit the Detectron 2 official github and try to understand uh, what exactly this provides now guys uh, if you just search in google like uh, Detectron 2 okay Detectron 2 uh, so we will get the official github of the Detectron 2 so let me open and as you can see, this is the research from the Facebook site. They have implemented this particular framework. And here is the Detectron 2. Detectron 2 is a Facebook AI research uh, next generation library that provides a state of the art detection and segmentation algorithm. Uh, it is the successor of Detectron and uh, Mask RCNN be benchmark. It supports a number of computer vision research projects and production application is the Facebook. So guys, uh, what this Facebook did actually, they implemented another actually uh, like a very old uh, like library called Detectron. Okay, it was Detectron 1. Uh, they Then actually uh, they introduced this Detectron 2, but uh, there were some issue with the Detectron. So, so uh, people don't use this uh, Detectron. Okay, so instead of that, you need to use this Detectron 2. And uh, here if you see, it can perform key point detection, image segmentation, as well as the object detection. Okay, so these are the tasks actually you can perform. Even it has lots of uh, actually different different model. If I go to the model view, so Detectron 2 model view. Uh, as you already saw, Detectron 2 provides lots of models here. You can work with, see, you have Coco object detection baseline. Here you have first RCN and backbone. Okay, as you can see, these are the different different model. Okay, you, you can use. Then you have Retina Net, you have uh, RPN first, uh, first RCNN, okay. Then you have uh, Coco Instance Segmentation. So this is for the segmentation model. These are the model you can use for the segmentation. Then if I go below, so you also have something called Key Point Detection Model. Let's say if you want to perform Key Point Detection, you can also use these are the model. It can also support panoptic segmentation, okay. So these are the models are available. So that's how actually it has, uh, it is having different different model architecture. You can uh, load it as per your requirement as per your task so in this case actually in this particular video we'll be doing the object detection so that's why i'll be using this particular uh, coco object detection baseline that means this particular model okay and here you are having first rcnn model so from these are the model you can use any of the model i'll tell you how to select the model you can uh, either directly download either you can get the link and you can uh, download from the notebook itself okay both it is possible so this is the uh, github introduction of this particular uh, detectron 2 guys i hope you got the idea what is detectron 2 and how uh, we can use this particular detectron 2 detectron 2 is a framework it's a library it provides lots of functionality to do uh, to do the object detection and you can uh, load different different model okay with the help of that but uh, previously we used yolo yolo is an algorithm as well as the framework okay both you can uh, do it okay all together in one library now uh, here i already prepared one particular notebook guys custom object detection uh, okay here let me just write custom object detection detection uh, using detectron 2 okay using detectron 2 so this is the notebook so first of all you just need to connect this particular notebook so let me just connect this particular notebook here and make sure you have selected gpu from the runtime so so here if you see i already selected gpu uh, from the runtime i'm having a uh, premium collab that's why you can access this v100 but if you, if you are having free collab you can also go with t4 gpu it's completely fine now see guys it is connected now what i will do first of all you need to install this particular detection to dependency okay so for this these are the command you need to execute okay so this is a complete notebook i will share with you so if you have any kinds of problem statement you can use this particular notebook only you just need to change your data and everything will remain same okay so it may take some time guys uh, this installation takes time so i'll wait for this uh, execution okay once it is done you just need to restart the runtime okay so let's wait uh, once this execution is complete i will come back uh, so guys as you can see my execution is completed now what i did uh, what i need to do i just need to restart the runtime so click on the runtime and here you will get restart session so it will just restart the runtime then you will be able to uh, work with uh, these are the libraries okay so let me uh, 
So let's wait uh, once it is connected. I think I can execute. See, it's connected. Now just import. These are the libraries. And if it is importing correctly, that means everything is fine. Okay. So guys, as you can see, uh, it is importing perfectly. That means everything is fine. So Detection 2 provides two kinds of engines. So one is like default predictor and there is like default trainer. Okay. So if you want to fine tune, uh, if you want to, let's say, uh, uh, train on top of your custom data at that time, you can use uh, this uh, default trainer. And if you want to do the inference, you can use default predictor. I'll tell you. Okay. As of now, I've imported default predictor below. Whenever I will do the training, I will import the default uh, tr uh, trainer as well. Okay. So these are the thing you need to import. Then after that, you just need to get your data. Okay. You should have your custom data ready. And if you don't have data, uh, okay. So what you can do, uh, you can use uh, roboflow.com. So roboflow provides actually lots of open source uh, data set. Okay. For the object detection, image segmentation, key point detection, uh, all kinds of data actually will get from the roboflow universe. So you should have one account. So, so here, let me sign in with my account and I will show you like uh, different, different data actually you can use. So here is the universe guys, just click on the universe. So it will open up the entire universe and here you will see different, different data. So in this particular example, I'll be using something called chase data. Okay. So chase, uh, chase pieces. Okay. Chase pieces, this, uh, this data, I'll search it. You can search any kinds of data. I will get it. So this is the data. I think, uh, let me show you. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is the data actually I'm going to use. And here you are having uh, images as you can see. And with that, you are having different, different levels. So these are the level actually you have add, fill, kill, a uh, peon, sa and uh, veggie. Okay. So here you can download this particular data set. Just click on the download and it will redirect to you, uh, that particular page. And here you can select the image. See here you can uh, export the data. You can also download as a zip file. Either you can uh, uh, like uh, get the link and you can also download from the notebook itself. But thing is like here you just need to change the format. Okay. Format of the data. And if you're having your custom data guys, uh, which is not available, let's say, uh, in this particular RoboFlow, at that time you need to annotate that particular data because RoboFlow provides all the data and it is already annotated. Okay, all the data is already annotated here. You can directly import it. And RoboFlow also provides a uh, interface, okay, uh, this kinds of uh, annotation interface. So you can upload your data there and you can also do the annotation, okay. So for this, actually, you can refer this particular video I created training YOLO v5 on custom data set. So there actually I showed you how to annotate the data. That's why I'm not going to show you again. You can watch that particular recording, okay, and there actually I showed you how to upload your data in the RoboFlow platform and how to annotate the data and how to download it, okay. So uh, here, uh, just for simplicity, I will use the available data from the RoboFlow itself. So here, what I will do. And make sure, see, there actually I was using uh, YOLO format data, but here we are using something called Detecton 2, uh, like framework, right? And Detecton 2 framework supports actually Coco. Okay, Coco format. So that's why your data format should be Coco. So as you can see, you need to select this Coco format, then uh, click on this show download code and click on continue. Okay, if you do it, so it will give you different, different things. You can uh, download from the Jupyter, you can download from the terminal. Okay, you can also get the raw link. So I'll click on the terminal and this is the link guys, you need to copy. Okay, so this link, you need to paste inside the notebook. As you can see, this is the link. You need to paste inside this particular notebook. Okay, see all the link I pasted here. Now it will download that particular data from this particular uh, URL and it will uh, download a zip file. After that, it will unzip and it will show me the data. Okay, so let me uh, show you the data import here. So guys, see this data is downloading. Now, once it is done, it is extracting. Now, if I refresh, see my data set is available. So 10 uh, test folder as well as my training folder. And guys, it has one annotation file, uh, Coco annotation called JSON. As you can see, let me show you annotation.json is there. See, this is one. So this file contains the entire annotation information. Okay. And we call it as Coco format. So you can see that particular video, how to annotate and uh, how you'll get this particular file. Okay. So I have successfully imported the data set. Now what I need to do, uh, see in Detecton 2, uh, there is a concept called data registration. Okay. So first of all, you need to register that data. So here we don't load the data. Okay. Uh, in the digs. Okay. In one time, we just registered the data. Whenever I need that, I just call with the name and it will give me the data. Okay. So I just need to save this data as a metadata. So for this here, you need to do register Coco instance. Okay. So this is the class I imported. Now inside that you need to provide the name here. You can give any kinds of name. I have given my data set train and my data set test. And here is the location I have given. So this is the annotation location you need to give. It is present inside my training folder and this is present inside my testing folder. And what is the location? This is the location content inside my train and test. Okay. That's it. Now let's register our data. See data registration is done. Now, if you want to visualize your data, so what you can do, you can call with the name. Okay. Now I don't need to relocate the folder location because already all the information has in this particular registration. Now I'll call with the name. Let's say I want my uh, training data. I'll just call uh, with the, my uh, data set train 
and here uh, I will get all of the data instance okay as a dictionary then here I can write a for loop with the help of for loop I'll fetch the data and with the help of OpenCV I can show you this particular image okay on my terminal now let me show you see guys so here I, I, I want to see three images so that's why it is printing three Im images as you can see with the label actual label okay that means I am able to successfully uh, uh, like plot the data as well now your final training will start okay and and see guys uh, if you are using this detection tool like it's like very easy to use okay it's just a plug and play kinds of notebook uh, with the help of very less line of code you can train your uh, object detection model now here is the code guys for trainer as you can see i am importing this default trainer uh, engine after that these are the configuration you need to set and by default actually this code uh, will provide you by the uh, detection tool okay this uh, if you go to this particular repository you will see this kinds of notebook so i have just copy pasted these are the code from there only okay so you can keep this particular notebook and you can execute so only uh, here you just need to change the model as you can see here you need to change the model so how to change the model go to the uh, model view let's say you are doing this uh, uh, object detection so here you can change the model see i'm using this particular model here let me show you i'm using faster rcnn R50 FPN, this model, first I seen in R50 FPN, R50 FPN, R50 FPN, this is the model, see this model, I'm using, if I click on the model, so this is the model, a baseline, now here you can copy this particular link, okay, this copy, uh, copy this link, and here you just paste it, okay, here you just paste it, so here you just need to define, you are doing cocoa uh, detection, okay, not a segmentation, so it will automatically uh, get to know, you want to perform detection, not a segmentation, after that, the same thing you need to give it here and here is the iteration okay maximum iteration so let's give uh, 500 iteration here uh, you can also increase the iteration because this is the default iteration i'm giving but whenever you are training your actual model make sure you are uh, increasing this particular iteration size okay now everything is fine you don't need to change anything now you can start the training okay see this is the thing only you need to configure now it will load the, your model if this model is not available it will download and logging is very good here guys it will uh, tell you all the logs like uh, how many epochs is running what is the losses and everything it will show see and it will create one folder called output inside that output it will save all the uh, metrics and your model okay save model now see guys my uh, iteration has started and iteration 20 i can see okay because see it will uh, show you the iteration after every 20 epoch okay that's why you can see 1932 uh, because it has started from zero that's why and this is the total loss this is the class loss this is the box loss okay all the losses you can see here now let's wait so once training is done i will come back and i'll show you uh, so guys my training is completed and uh, here in the output folder you will see uh, your model as you can see this is the model final pth that means this is the model and uh, here you have some of the uh, metadata related to your logs now what you can see you can also uh, print the logs okay you, with the help of this tensor board you can launch your tensor board and it will lo uh, load all the logs like what is the training losses what is the box losses what is the accuracy everything you can see from this particular uh, tensor board so let me load uh, so guys as you can see this is my tensor board logs and here you have uh, like dead time and if you want to uh, check it with different different see this is the epoch uh, per uh, eta seconds okay this is the seconds i think and if you want to check the losses so here is the loss loss rpn classes so your uh, epochs is increasing also loss is decreasing okay so that's how you can check out with different different loss okay see this is the total loss epoch is uh, increasing loss is also decreasing that means my model is learning fine now what you need to do you need to load this particular model and we'll be doing the inference okay on top of our testing data so let's load this particular model so i'll load this particular model and here you need to set the confidence score like what would be the confidence score for your model it will uh, predict uh, that is the actual class okay you need to set this parameter here so i kept uh, the default parameter 0 0.5 you can also increase and decrease as per your requirements now here guys first of all i need to load my testing image okay so here i'm calling with my test image i think you remember i already registered my testing image okay then after that uh, with the help of this uh, for loop i'll be loading my model okay as you can see loading the model and inside the predictor i'm giving my uh, here i already defined my predictor okay after loading the model and here i'm giving the image okay one by one and uh, let's see the prediction whether it is able to predict or not see guys uh, successfully it is doing the prediction as you can see uh, it is predicting okay see it's predicting uh, okay that means everything is working now what i will do i'll just uh, quickly stop the execution uh, because there are so many images in that testing folder i don't want to print all of them okay uh, done now uh, if you want to do the evaluation okay on top of the testing data so you can execute this particular code so it will show you the entire uh, evolution matrix. So it will load the testing data, it will load your model and it will calculate the uh, matrices, okay? So let me show you. So guys, here you got your final uh, 
uh, results so this is the average position uh, you got here so average position that means uh, everything is learning fine here okay all the classes having uh, uh, almost same average position okay that means all the class is learning fine now if you want to save this regular uh, CFG that means the configuration model configuration you can save it okay with a YAML file because going forward whenever you will be creating web application you need this particular file okay whenever you want to load this particular model so in future I will also show you how we can create a web application how we can do real-time prediction with the help of this detection tool okay so for this uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends and family and if you like this particular video just uh, give a thumbs up okay guys so this is all uh, from my uh, side actually and this is all about our custom uh, object detection with the help of this detection tool I hope you like this particular video. So guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.